Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Mindy, and this is See Mindy Mom. It is Thursday, February 21st, the day after my mommy's birthday. So happy late birthday to my mommy if she's watching this. Um, don't worry, I talked. I I messaged her yesterday, and I actually just talked with her um, just a few days ago because they were here visiting. So. Um, I'm going to try to vlog a little bit today. It's a Thursday, so I'm tired. Wednesdays are always really busy, and I am, um, you know, because I'm working at the church all day on Wednesdays, and so I'm usually pretty tired on Thursdays, but there's a lot of things that I want to get done. Um, I need to run a few errands. I need to make a meal plan for the next week and do a bit of a grocery run. I want to run by Once Upon a Child. I've got some things around the house I want to get done, but uh, right now I have just finished reading my... Um, little devotional and praying a little bit and journaling a little bit. I get the daily devotional sent to my email from uh, United Methodist Church of the Resurrection in Leewood, Kansas. It's a very large, the largest United Methodist Church in the country, maybe in the world. And um, I just get a daily devotional from them. I'm actually getting ready to do um, a, re read a book and do a devotional study um, over an Adam Hamilton book, 24 Hours That Changed the World for Lent. That's what I'm doing, and um, that's the pastor at Church of the Resurrection. So anyway, I enjoy those, and I've just gotten done doing that. I have my coffee, and I am actually got up and got dressed and ready, so I've got to get the kids ready and out the door, and I'm going to try to do as much around the house before we need to leave to go to school. So that's what's going on today. dryer. I'm going to throw a damp towel in with them. They're clean clothes. They're clothes that I'm going to take over to the consignment shop over to Once Upon a Child in a little bit. And like I said, they're clean, but they've been sitting in a basket for a little while. So I just want to kind of freshen them up and get the wrinkles out and stuff so that they look nice when I take them over there. up in the living room. I got these coasters last weekend. I thought they were so cute. Silence is golden. Unless you have children, then silence is suspicious. <laughs> up making a grocery list and a meal plan for the week. I've been perusing um, a couple, I've been perusing Pinterest looking for a couple of new recipes. I found one that I want to try this week and I've just been kind of making a list. i um, trying to get by with the bare minimum because we're at the end of the month and we have been overspent a little bit in our grocery budget, but I am on track to be way under budget for this month. So if I can get away with um, only spending, you know, $75 or so for the last week of the month, then we will have some extra money from this month's grocery budget to kind of catch up in that area, which of course you'll find out whenever I show you our budget balance sheet at the end of February. So now I'm going to go ahead and take those clothes out of the dryer and get them folded up and ready to go. I'll probably do one quick sweep around the house and the kids' rooms too and see if there's anything else I want to take over to Once Upon a Child. Then I've got to get out of the house and get my errands run. I am sitting in the parking lot of Once Upon a Child, if you're not familiar with that. It is a children's consignment. I do believe they are nationwide. There was one very close to us. And I have done consignment sales before, and I have also always lived close enough to Once Upon a Child that I can take stuff there as well. And with consignment sales, I figured out whenever I divided the amount of money I made by the amount of hours it took to prepare, sort the clothes, prepare the clothes, hang the clothes, tag the clothes, take the clothes to the sale, I was making like less than minimum wage. So I changed my approach to that. And if I ever do the consignment sales, I typically only do the winter one and I only put in items that I can price, you know, above $5 or so. So that's like coats and jeans and toys, things that still have the tags on them, any kind of winter wear, holiday outfits. Those are things that are fairly easy to prepare and that I could price, you know, relatively high so that it was worth 
my time. But sometimes it has just been worth it to not do any of that and just wash the clothes, fold them up like I would anyway, even if I'm sending them to Goodwill, I wash them. Um, fold them up, take them into Once Upon a Child and have them do the sorting and just offer me a price. Am I making as much money as if I did a sale where I have to do all the work? No, but that's the trade-off. I don't have to do all the work. I only had a small little, I had two little, I had a basket of, of shoes and clothes and like one little box with a couple of toy items in it. And I thought, you know, if I could get $30 for this, I will be ecstatic. And they gave me $43.10. And they did not take a lot of my older daughter's items because they said they just don't have a high demand for girl size 10 stuff. And so it wasn't that there's anything wrong with it. They just don't have a demand for it. I also wanted to go in there so I could look for Easter dresses for my girls. I do not like to spend a lot of money on Easter dresses. Our kids don't wear super dressy clothes because just like school, you know, children learn through play and that includes Bible school, that includes Sunday school. And so they do a lot of play and play a lot of games and sometimes they even go out on the playground and stuff. So we don't wear like super duper frou-frou frilly dresses and, and fancy clothes to church all the time. We try to look nice, but um, but for Easter, you know, you want to take pictures and stuff. So all that's to say, I don't like to spend a lot of money on dresses that we may only wear a couple of times over the summer. So I found this one for my older daughter. It is a blue, the, um, it's blue floral and the brand is called Knitworks and it looks like this. I thought it was really pretty with the little floral. It's a blue. She looks really good in blue, I think, with her skin tone and her eye color. So the only thing that I think will be an issue is the arms. And she'll probably be wearing a sweater or a jacket over this anyway because even though Easter is late this year, it's April 21st, I, it's almost always cold on Easter. Or chilly, at least. And then I thought this one was Darling. It is from Gymboree. It's a size 7 for my 6-year-old. Look at just all the pretty pastel colors there, green and pink and yellow and white. She looks really good in this style with the high-waisted thing. Um, so I just really, really thought this was cute and that it would coordinate well with the other blue dress. And I had one of my little punch cards filled up from Once Upon a Child, so it was 15% off of the prices. This dress was only six dollars and fifty cents the little jimboree one and then this dress was only four dollars and fifty cents and I had a 15% off card so I ended up only paying about ten dollars including tax for both of those two little Easter dresses so I thought that was a great deal but I am off now to get my INR and um, to go run a couple of errands get some groceries so check in in a bit okay I'm at Sonic surprise surprise I went and got my INR, which if you're not familiar with that, I have to get my blood drawn every month to make sure that my blood thinners are working properly and that my blood is thin enough that I'm not in danger of forming clots, which is long story how that came about. <laughs> but I went and got that done and then I really needed to go find something to wear to this birthday party we're going tomorrow night. I'm not really sure what the dress is going to be, but I think it's going to be a little bit more than like dressy casual. The invitation says dress to impress and it's a friend of ours 50th birthday party so I think it's gonna be like a little you know we got to take it up a notch in the clothing department and I just didn't know if I really had anything that would fit the bill but I did not want to go all the way up to the mall that would have been like a like 30 minutes just to get there and drive back and then obviously going around to all the different stores looking for something to wear but I'm on a side of town where there's not a lot where clothing is concerned, at least not for that kind of thing that I'm looking for. And I finally decided I would run into Kato. I don't know that I've ever been in that store in my life. But I tried on a few things. I don't know what in the world possessed me to try on a jumper. It is not my style, but I thought I would try it. It did not work out. And a couple of other just little black dresses. And I finally settled on this one. The pictures don't really do it justice. And I'm going to have to put the right undergarments with it because I was you can see my bra through it right now just because I was wearing a nude bra and it's a black dress and it's like sheer across the top but it's got like a textured overlay over it and so I thought I could dress that up and that's kind of a style that I look better in that's kind of like fitted I don't really do as well with the ones that flare out or the empire wasted stuff I'm more of a like it's got to be fitted all the way down so I ended up going ahead and getting that and it was only like $25 so it's concert black too, which I can, I pretty much always use that in my line of work. But now I'm at Sonic and I'm going to go to the grocery store. I'm going to go over to Aldi because I'm right across the street from Aldi. And I think I'm just going to get everything that I need for the last week of February from Aldi. <clears throat> and um, you won't see that because I'll film a separate video for a grocery haul and meal plan 
coming up, but that's what I'm gonna do and then head home and hope that I have enough time to have some lunch before I've gotta go and get the kids from school. Okay, I just walked in the door and I'm about to start unloading all of my groceries so I can get my grocery haul and meal plan filmed. And I was so excited to see that my Built Bars came. I ordered another box of Built Bars. I ordered just the lemon this time. I really like all the flavors, but I've really been digging the lemon. So I just ordered a box of 16 count lemon. They were running a special on Valentine's Day where if you ordered a 16 count box, you got two free strawberry bars, which is their new, their new flavor. So I got two of these for free along with my 16 count box and I'm going to have one of these now because I'm very hungry and it's still going to be a little bit before I can have lunch because I need to get this grocery haul filmed. Um, so I'm going to munch on this and I will let you know how it is. Verdict on the strawberry built bar is that it is very good just like all the other other flavors at least I like it just as well as most of the other flavors. It's similar to me to the raspberry one but I like the strawberry one better not surprising because I like strawberries better than raspberries and strawberry flavored things better than raspberry things typically, but I really like it. Um, probably right up there with the lemon and the vanilla and the coconut and the orange, which are my favorites. <laughs> so um, I do still have a code for these, I think, and I will keep it in my description box as long as it works. I think it's 20% off your first order. So if you haven't tried those yet and you want 20% off your first order, I'll leave that code in my description box as long as it is still working. So you can check that out if you want. I am so hungry. It is about 1.45. I made myself a delicious salad from the salad mix that I bought from Aldi. I think it's the barbecue ranch or something like that. I only use about half of the salad dressing in that, but I had some chicken in the fridge that needed to uh, be used up, so I threw that on there, and I am just going to sit by the fire and maybe watch a little bit of YouTube on my iPad while I eat my salad and just kind of catch my breath before I've got to get back out the door in about 45 minutes to go and pick the kids up from school, but do a little computer work, watch a little YouTube, eat a little lunch. That's what's going on. Okay, we are home from school and I am going to brave going upstairs to clean the kids' bathroom because it is disgusting. <laughs> it's amazing how it gets that way so quickly and without them, they like barely use that bathroom. They really only use it at night and maybe first thing in the morning, but it's kind of gross. I probably shouldn't show you pictures, but I probably will. <laughs> All right, got that done. Got the kids' bathrooms all nice and clean. And I even cleaned some in my own bathroom downstairs. It's not that I really mind cleaning bathrooms. I just kind of probably let it go a little too long <laughs> before I get it done. I clean the hall bathroom downstairs, the one we use the most. I clean that, it seems like, every couple of days because we use that the most. But anyway, I'm getting ready to run back out the door and take kids to activities and then it'll be time to get dinner together. Just walked in the door from gymnastics and look who's home. Daddy Daddy's home, present. and he brought you treats. What did he bring you? Cracker Jacks. Cracker Jacks. Do you know what's inside Cracker Jacks? Cracker Jacks and stickers. Yeah, sometimes there's a, there's a prize. prize. Daddy's been gone. We've missed him. I have my lovely wine glass that my husband got me for Christmas. Actually, two Christmases ago. And my friend in the kitchen tonight is Mr. Winking Owl <laughs> from Aldi. Thank you for joining us, Winking Owl. Okay, it is getting on towards the end of the night. We have had dinner. The kids have been playing cards with my husband for the last 30 minutes or so while I have been cleaning up the kitchen. And um, I went ahead and cleaned everything, swept and mopped, and I will wake up to a nice clean kitchen in the morning so I know that I will, my future self will thank myself <laughs> for doing that. So I am going to just kick back and relax a little bit now. I feel pretty good about today, considering that I woke up pretty tired after a busy day yesterday, and I was able to get a lot accomplished. So thanks for coming along with me. As always, I'd love it if you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already, and I'll see you guys really soon. Good night.